What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to freeze tracks inside of Cubase and the different options that comes with freezing a track. So let's get right to it. So here I laid out a short French horn melody. Let's go ahead and take a listen. So now let's say my computer's crashing, I need some CPU, and I want to freeze some tracks in order to save some CPU. There are two different ways you can find this menu. So the first one is by looking at the inspector window here on the left. If you can't see this window, you can go over here in the top right corner and click the zone to the left in order to see this left window, and then click on inspector. So you're going to see an option here that looks like a snowflake, and that is the freeze instrument channel option. You can either click it here or... If you don't see it on your track panel already, you can right click, go to track control settings, click on it, and then you're going to get prompted with this window. Now here, all you need to do is look for on the left side, look for freeze, and then put add, and then you choose apply. And as soon as you do that, you're going to see that you have your snowflake icon on the track window itself. So now we're going to go ahead and press OK. Let's see the couple different options that they offer when you click this button. So the first one is a freeze instrument only. The second one is a freeze instrument and channels. You have a tail size and then you have unload instrument when frozen. Now you're able to save some CPU as you're freezing these tracks. In other words, you're loading these sounds onto your RAM so that your computer no longer has to process it in real time. It already does the processing upfront. So every time you play it, it doesn't have to process all of your plugin and MIDI tracks. So freeze instrument only allows you to freeze all of the MIDI parts in here so it doesn't have to process the MIDI information, but you can still edit any insert effects that you have in the mixer. So if you open up the mixer and let's say you have an EQ compressor, you can still edit those things and the computer will still be processing those effects in real time. It just won't be reading the MIDI in real time. The second option is freeze instrument and channels. So what this does is freeze your instrument and your insert effects on the channel. So now you can't make any adjustments on your sounds if you have any EQs on their compressors. But if you're using the Cubase EQ or need any level or panning or sends, you can adjust that using this setting. Now the tail size is how long, let's say this has a fade out after you release the note. This allows you to choose the fade out time. So you can have five seconds after the note is released to have a natural decay. And so the sound doesn't cut off right away and you can actually choose how many seconds you want it to be. So that's a really cool feature inside of this. And then the last option we have here to check is unload instrument when frozen. So what this is gonna do is it's going to freeze your track but it's going to unload the actual instrument track off of your RAM. So let's say you're editing another group of instruments, let's say five, 10, 15 tracks, you wanna offload a couple, you can offload these instruments and continue to work with the other instruments that you have in your project. And when you go ahead and click unfreeze, you're gonna load them back into RAM. If you have any questions throughout the video, just go ahead and drop your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the ring button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to check out the John Moon Studios store. I have a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studios logo on it. So go ahead and check it out. As always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I'll see you guys soon.